due to the intensity some of these events are viewer discretion oh he looks like i'm i don't want to be that person but he looks Where is it? why he got all them tattoos on his scalp the sentencing of jeremy and christine moody who are all smiles as they stand before the judge beautiful no they are not exchanging vows they're already married they're also neo i knew it who were found guilty of first degree murder and the killing of charles parker and his wife Gretchen. The Moody's targeted Parker, who they did not know, after hmm. seeing his address in a sex offender state registry. What? Tom also believed God wanted them to eliminate all sex offenders. They think they vigilantes? What is this? Surveillance footage from the Parker home helped police locate the killers. As did Jeremy's tattoos, including skinhead written across his neck. Yeah, you can't really trust somebody with a tattoo like that. When the couple were questioned, they didn't deny their guilt. In fact, they both not only confessed, they told authorities they planned to kill more sex offenders. Yeah, they gotta get them off the street. Yeah, they moving dangerous. Murder, asking Judge Lee Alford for mercy, as well as the minimum sentence of 30 years in prison. Goofy ass said, I think God has forgiven us for our sin. Well, God ain't in the courtroom. Y'all here moving dangerous. What are they talking about? Next, it was Christine Moody's chance to plead for forgiveness. Well, That's what you I'm did. How have you come to that accusation? How you just gonna wake up one day? I think God has forgiven me for killing. When did you come to that conclusion? Did you have a conversation? What are y'all be? Y'all just be saying stuff. Your Honor, Oh, they want 30 years. Jeez. Ah. They have nothing. No way to defend themselves. And I tell you that I believe that if these two would get out of jail, I would be concerned that they would do exactly the same thing. I'm scared of that too. I'm scared. I think it's the case that justice deserves and demands a life sentence. Got them right out of there. After hearing their sentences, the murderous couple share a final kiss. Nobody want to see it. Don't show it. Don't you show it. Oh! Don't look at that, Jack. Close your eyes. Look at their funky asses touching each other on the lips with their lips. Ew! Ew! Oh, they getting nasty now. But as they exit the court, whatever remorse they tried to convey, has quickly disappeared. I think Jeremy and I would have done it again if given the opportunity. Do you have any regrets? I have no regrets. Killing was the best day of my life. What about what you said in court about repenting? Is that not true then? No, it's not true. My lawyer made me say it. Oh my goodness. Would you look at this? Oh my goodness. Lawyers got a weird job. Even they be defending people that don't need defending. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Do you have anything to say to the victim's family? May they die also. Oh my! What am I hearing? What am I hearing? Don't lawyers have to have like a win percentage or something? Why would you take this case as a lawyer? Was one appointed to them by the public? Like, why would you take this case? This automatic loss on your resume. Why would you even sign up for them? I am appalled and disgusted by what I've done. Fake ass job. tears. Three years earlier, Millerberg, her husband, and their 16 year old babysitter, Alexis Rasmussen, were sharing alcohol, marijuana, and prescription drugs. What type of. They hired a babysitter so they could tag team the babysitter? What is going on? While engaging in sexual activity at the couple's home. The partying ultimately turned deadly after Eric Millerberg injected the 16-year-old with her third dose of heroin and methamphetamine. 
causing an overdose. What? Eric Millerberg, a convicted felon, allegedly feared he'd be sent back to prison if they alerted authorities. So the couple drove Rasmussen's body to a remote area and buried her in a shallow grave. For three years, Millerberg's been allowed to live free out on bail. Ah! Regained custody of her infant and elementary school-aged child. But now at sentencing, she's facing up to 15 years in prison. What? Before learning her sentence, Millerberg turns to face the victim's family. How are y'all gonna let this lady walk free after she hid a body? That's not a sane human being. She didn't confess to the murder. She didn't confess to the actions. I could understand if that night she was under duress with her husband, helped him stash the body. Next morning, she turned herself into the police, rat him up. That would be a more honest woman. But months went past. 16-year-old girl missing. Somebody got an anonymous tip that where the body be at lead back to them all of a sudden. Oh, it was just my husband. I ain't got nothing. How you letting her on the concrete streets like this? Look at your fake ass. I'm sick of her shit already. By what I've done. And for your family. Ew! In a way, I can't Your prayers. I hope one day you'll be able to forgive me. I'm in your prayers. I'm in your prayers. You're a murderer. Praying for me don't make you righteous, you funky bitch. Look at this young lady here. Look at this lady. If it God will bring me peace. Your Honor, I, I'm not gonna make excuses for what I've done. If she say but, I'm gonna get mad. It would make things worse. Yes, it would. No an excuse. I, I have no way to express the magnitude of grief that I feel for Alexis Gibley for what I've done. But I take responsibility. And thank you for just letting me say peace. It's now up to Judge W. Brent West to make a decision. I don't trust this guy. He got liver spots. The bottom line is, um, Ms. Miller Burnett, I do think that prison is the appropriate sentence in this particular situation. Punish her! This judge doing too much talking, send her to the cage, bro! The judge leaving stuff off the story. You take the body to the forest and dug it in a grave. No! Add on the fact that her and her husband did a triple threat match with an underage minor. Gave the minor alcohol, drug usage, injected the, the young lady with extreme drugs, and then... After the young child was overdosed, you then take the body to that forest, send her to the cage. You talking too much. And the order and sentence of the court the jury serve three indeterminate terms in the Utah State Prison of zero to five years. Time out, run that back. Run that back. They, you know how they be talking in such a professional, extreme way that it kind of fly over your head when they use such such professionalism and such large words like indubitably. Like you don't really know what that mean, but they be saying it. So I need to play this back because I think I heard this fucker just gave this girl zero to five years. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but I heard zero to five. I might be wrong. It'll be the order and sentence of the court. That means we're going to sentence her to this amount of time. That you serve three indeterminate terms at the... What does that even mean? 
what does that word right there mean? That you serve three in to, I don't even know how to say that. Dia Millerberg ultimately served four years and two months in state prison. Four years and two months for hiding a body, bro. I swear to God, bro, man, in this world we live in, I swear to fucking goodness, bro, I don't know what's going on. As for her husband, Eric Millerberg, he was convicted of child abuse homicide, obstruction of justice, unlawful sexual conduct with a minor, and abuse or desecration of a body. Was the wife not tag teaming? Are you ignoring that feature? And was sentenced to six years to life in prison. How the fuck you make six years to life? How you throw six to life? How six years in life in the same sentence? How less than a decade is equal to somebody's whole life? That last one took a toll on me. I don't even know if I want to watch another one of these 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 situations. I'm getting mad in real life because it's not making sense. I'm not watching this no more, bro. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Man, I only made it eight minutes into a 20-minute video. <laughs> this has got me mad, bro. <laughs> the logic behind these judge makes no sense. What the fuck? What the fuck is this?